you guys. I just figured I'd make this video. Um, this is just interesting. So, this is how messed up my energy is with Emmy. Um, all these medications I've taken are prescribed, but I took 200 milligrams of Pro Vigil this morning, which did nothing. I took a caffeine pill. And I took another one later. And then I just took Adderall that was prescribed today, about an hour ago. I took another caffeine pill and took ginseng and B12 and supplements. I've also been eating healthy and drinking water. I was wiped out, about to fall asleep. I was really hoping I could get some work done. I also got in an argument with a psychiatrist today talking about ME. He thinks it's a somatic disorder. And he's really into like Freud and stuff. And I'm studying Freud in my psych class. And uh, I fucking hate Freud. Because I study neuroscience. I like real science, you know, like this. I really hate pseudoscience. Because it hurts people. Like, for example, I will say one of the many... two so many reasons that I'm sick with this, but two reasons are, these are uh, evidence-based reasons. The enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase is inhibited during glycolysis, resulting in a dysfunctional citric acid cycle, blah, 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 and a shortage of ATP, and I think it has to do with the gene mTOR being inhibited. Mechanistic target of rampamycin. Okay, that's one. Number two, there's autoantibodies being picked up against some acetylcholine receptors and it's making me real real sick and stuff and like it's like an autoimmune disease and it's like messing with my brain and then the microglia gets activated and then there's a storm of cytokines so that's some of my stuff right and i can even show you like look here's glycolysis i to look at this chart real quick i got it today it was the highlight of my day pretty shitty day here's glycolysis here's I can't even say it, private, whatever, I'm sorry, biochem people. Here's private dehydrogenase right here, the enzyme. And it, like, turns this, I guess, into acetylcholine. Well, guess what? This is inhibited, and that's not even debatable. They found that in, uh, one of the leading researchers found that up in Norway, I think. So, yeah, that's not even debatable. That thing's inhibited, and it's just destroying all this, um... But this is what he would say. You have a distant childhood memory that's being repressed. And it's an unconscious process. It's not actually your fault. It's unconscious. And because there's a childhood memory that's being repressed, and it's from about 20 or 15 years ago, it's causing a dysfunctional cycle. And the repression is causing your id and your superego it's shit like that. It's so ridiculous. It's like, how are you a licensed... How are you even board certified if you're going to say things like that? I mean, you might as well just start doing crystals and stuff and palm reading on me if you're going to say things like that. Somehow we're supposed to respect that? No, not going to happen. Well, maybe it's just because I study neuroscience, but that's just fucking bullshit in it made me really mad and feel horrible and he said it's just an adjustment disorder just like the girl in the movie um, unrest same thing but all my other doctors say it's me like 10 doctors he's the only one that says it's an adjustment disorder or some psychosomatic disorder so it made me really mad and feel horrible and I told him like I've thought about killing myself I feel so sick sometimes you really think I'm making this up, dude? But, whatever. On the bright side, I got a screensaver that's new. And I got ripped off today, but I got a photocopy instead of a real copy of a book. But, um, it's a classic. And it's by James Watson. He won the Nobel Prize for helping discover the structure of DNA 
And he's also on the open medicine thing, helping people with ME-CFS. And, uh, okay, if James Watson knows it's a real thing and it's rooted in biology and screams biology, I think that's enough. So, fuck you suicides, people. And witch doctors, but... Yeah, this has good stuff I can apply to my studies of ME-CFS. It's not like I study it, I just read textbooks and then I read papers. I try to make sense of it. And last... Um... So tired. Um, oh, I might be in a Stanford trial, but it's too soon for me to talk about this. I got in contact with them, and... Um, maybe they're gonna try chemo on me or something. I don't know. I mean, if they can break my spine if it helps me. I'll do anything. I'm so desperate at this point. Normally, I'm in bed about 20, 22 hours a day. Even when I take these drugs. And if I don't take them, I'll probably just be like, can't even get to the bathroom. It's that bad. But I don't know. I have hope. And that's where it is. And guys like Ron Davis, I trust. And James Watson and all those scientists that are working hard to uh, help us. But it's my day today. And I just did some psychology work for school and studied some uh, cellular respiration stuff, learning about more glycolysis and citric acid cycle and electron transport chain and then I'm learning about how it goes wrong with our disease but that's some stuff and um my heart goes out to you if you've been told it's a psychosomatic disorder because it's really painful I was sitting there with like big circles under my eyes like barely able to sit up and he's like yeah it's just in your head and you're making it up I think because you can't Get your things straight and it's like, no, it's unacceptable. Will not be tolerated. I might even get him in legal trouble at some point once I get metabolomics done and stuff. But actually, no, I won't because he has good intentions. But I'm just hurtful. Not what is life? That's what life is. It's just a fight. You know, that's like a neo-Darwinian view, but... Uh, I'm just doing this because I'm so lonely right now, but... That's my day. I hope yours was good. Thanks for watching, if you did.